As you can see, I can easily make that turn. The steering wheel is very responsive. There's no looseness. Like I'm shaking the truck now that I just turned that little amount. And it was totally worth it. Off-road wise, I was able to make a lot of easy maneuvers over rocks and other tight maneuvers that I wouldn't normally be able to do. Now I made a video previously about the cost to lift the Silverado and I also have a video about all the things that I put into my Silverado so far build wise. So you guys can go check that out. I'll put the link in the description. I do not regret at all buying lift for my Silverado. It's much better. People get out of your way when you're going down the highway. It's much more fun to drive a lifted truck. It looks a lot better. There's a whole class of people that put lifts on their trucks just so they can make them look better. And I have to agree that it's totally worth doing that. Even if you just wanted to lift your truck just for the looks, I'd say go ahead and do it. It's, it's worth it. And if you buy the lift kits, the higher end lift kits, that truck is ugly. If you buy the higher end lift kits, like let's say like Pro Comp or BDS, you're gonna be honestly increasing your ride quality if you buy lift kits that are not cheap, like for Rough Country or any of the eBay lift kits. So if you're thinking about lifting your Silverado or truck in general, I do recommend you do it because the driving is amazing. It honestly makes it a lot better. It's a lot more fun. You're sitting up higher on the road. You can see a lot more. So definitely lift your truck if you're thinking about doing it. I'm not trying to lug this thing like 30 minutes. So how does it feel to drive a two wheel drive gas? Haters mad yeah. bro, or are you guys ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Or these like yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm now on the highway. As you can see, people are inching away from me in front of us. <laughs> they are. Everyone's backing away from me if you look over here. And it's great to be in a lifted Silverado. It's very easy to drive, very easy to maintain. Now, one of the things that the common misconception about driving a lifted truck is that the ride quality gets a lot worse and the steering sucks. And that's usually all from like solid axle vehicles. Chevrolet is notorious for only having IFS suspension on their trucks. When it comes to anything, their diesel versions are also IFS. And there's honestly no sluggishness when it comes to lifting your Silverado too. When it comes to speeding up, it's just as fast as any other vehicle. When I lifted mine, I did not notice much of a change. The braking did get a little bit more difficult to come to a sudden stop, but I mean, that makes sense because your rolling resistance is different when you have that big of a tire. What if I didn't let this person? <laughs> All right, the one bad thing that I do notice about driving a lifted truck is the start and stop traffic. It really does do wear and tear on your transmission because the bigger tires, obviously, it's gonna have to shift a lot more. But that's why I try to stay out of this traffic as much as possible. Two accidents and it's five o'clock traffic here, and this is the capital of Pennsylvania right now. Hey, I did this hairstyle for nothing. So what do you think about this? They, I wonder how much they want for it. I, I wouldn't give them a penny over five. 100,000. So would you rather have the V8 or the Ford? He was like, I'll give you guys one of them. Which one would you take? I'd take the Dodge just because I already have a Ford. You ready to kayak, bro? Scariest rapids are right here. If I make my following big enough, I will be buying this car right here or something similar. I haven't made the real decision yet, but this is very nice. It's a 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo for $168,000. Probably getting down a little bit. I really like the nice orange color to it. And then over here, you just got a bunch of $200,000 cars. Got two Porsches here, Corvette. Got a Lambo, Mercedes. Over here we got a 2016 McLaren 570S. Nice carbon fiber mirrors. 
you know, your regular leather stitched interior. But carbon fiber on the outside. And man, this car is looking really nice. Got a Mercedes, two of them actually next to it. And there you got a Porsche SUV there. Chain? You see the chain? Would you rather this one or the blue one? got the carbon fiber. This is the only thing that Mike would ever be able to afford. That's what I was saying. It's still, how much did you say it was? $7. 2016 McLaren 675 LT Spider. I mean, I mean, some people, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't have the carbon fiber too. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Check out my other videos on my channel. Check out his channel. Have a good day. Have a great one.